we think about our role as citizens of the world, of our environment, as being an opportunity to enhance it, to improve it, not to deplete it. The project is a two-story environmental center classroom building. It's a net zero goal. We have radiant heating, we have solar panels, no cooling, it's all outside air ventilation. We selected materials that were locally sourced. Beyond that, I think it was just uh, keeping finishes really simple and straightforward and easily maintainable. And our goal here is to make a building that not only is zero emissions, but also reduces maintenance, reduces energy cost. It's the win-win-win that we talk about in sustainable design that we were trying to do here at the Nueva School. Buildings like this have a ripple effect. This can be done. And it's not easy, but it's not impossible. Well, this is a, a school community that's really committed to certain ideals. And one of them is to ensure we live in, in the greenest world we can, whether it is considering our usage or our, our hopefully our divestment at some point in fossil fuels or some, some version of that. Things we know as a school need to be addressed by upcoming generations. And so for us to be able to model that, for us to be able to walk the talk, with a net zero building and something that is designed with such intentionality and purpose is really, really powerful for the kids and the whole community. We have pre-K working with 12th graders and everyone in between. They're learning about different sustainability initiatives and climate change, and they take that home and share it with their parents and then take it to their greater community. What they've learned, they're taking and spreading this information out. It's our ability to inspire our community members, our learners to take the inspiration and the knowledge during their time here and carrying it forward beyond our campus, beyond that building, making a difference in the world. That sounds horribly aspirational, but it matters to us. 